We are live up in this building. Say what's up. Hey. We got Jazz up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. We got Ali up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. We got Sammy up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bitch, we finna put out a single, a little EP. We was on it. How'd y'all catch that? Bitch, we yeah, you be knowing, life. bitch. Okay, so yes, we do not have Ari in the building because my bitch is booked and blessed. She is being tested for COVID. Um, I'm praying those results come back negative because we were definitely together in Atlanta, bitch. Sit over there. Oh. <laughs> Put this on, home. Six feet. <laughs> Let's Six talk about feet. how open Atlanta is. When I tell you Atlanta does not motherfucking care about... At- Every <gasps> single place, we didn't even have to wear masks. We went in there, we went into the club, and we were just like, going uh, for it. I was like, ooh, ooh you can you please up. breathe over there? See, breath, double just breath. Oh, double the mask. New Year's because, like, it just then it be like hot. Atlanta. Then it oh. be hot. I'm smelling my own shit. Come yeah. on. Gotta go. <laughs> um, shit, okay, so oh. this is the plan. This is what it is for this episode. The three of us came in here not knowing what to talk about for once. That's why we need... See, we need... Got some topics. You got some topics? Got some. And what we're doing is all of us are on Instagram Live right now. We are depending on the people to give us some topics to talk about or to answer some questions. But sometimes I don't be liking y'all's questions. They be a little they personal, keep, Yeah, they be, they be going in a little What's your address? What time were you born? Who okay. Born, like... They keep asking what's uh, future classes and what's in store for Q and L. Someone got mad at me and said we can't bounce between all y'all. Pick one. <laughs> pick a live, any live. Pick, it's the same pick, shit. Pick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's okay? So we'll answer that question really quick. So okay. actually, I'm hosting my first class um, this Friday because I taught "What's Your Fantasy" by Ludacris in Atlanta, and I thought that I should take it to LA because I wanna, you know. And we're having it at Playground. Cute. Ooh, for old time's back. sake. For old time's sake, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's happening. And, um, you know, we're we're doing the online classes. Unfortunately, in L.A., studios aren't open. So I can't hold any, like, for real, for real classes unless I go. So that's why I'm planning on going to Miami in February. Um, That's on that. Next question. Y'all ain't giving me questions. I got they ask the same questions. Um, most embarrassing story. They just like to know my embarrassing stories. This feels very targeted. Um, <laughs> they I'm picked your life, bitch. I'm over to someone else's because y'all come for me purposely. What did they say? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> y'all come for me purposely. Because All I'm getting is when are y'all getting married? Oh, that's not for oh, me. I'm asking. It's like, for you, bitches. We don't know. We're just talking about this. Hmm. Oh, you a goddamn lie. I'm gonna get That's live. for me. <laughs> That's for us. I'm That's for us, live. bitches. Y'all gotta tune in on Friday. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> DM me some questions, okay? I ain't gonna do it on live. You can DM me a question. I'll check periodically. Oh my god. Y'all want I need some juicy questions. I see the questions coming in, y'all, but I need some stories, juicy questions. Stories, sex. Don't be talking about sex. Ask the questions. Plan for Valentine's Day. Any questions um, for Leah, Jasmine, or me? Oh my God, have y'all ever done a long distance relationship and if so do y'all have any advice on how to stay strong <laughs> this is ghetto come on long distance relationships are good my answer is no I've never done a long distance relationship I've done a couple I've not I have um, you must really love that nigga. it's just like I don't know I can handle it Communication is the best foundation. That's like the biggest thing. Like it sounds super cliche, but it's like if communication is all y'all got, might as well make it the most strongest thing. And that way, when you guys are able to come together, you have like a very solid foundation. And those times together are spent making physical memories. So if you're able to, you're forced to really learn that person. You don't have sex. You don't have going on dates. You don't have any distractions, but you pay attention to the details and who they are and what they really have to offer. Mm-hmm. And if you really take that seriously, then it's like you're pretty much set up for a pretty solid relationship once you guys are able to come together because well, you're damn. so focused and in tune. My thing is, what if you spent so much time getting to know this person and talking to them? And then once when you see that physical or once when y'all finally decide to become physical, it's booty. Right. Then what? Then all that getting to know. Is- Bye. <laughs> This was fun. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much. That didn't mean the other shit can't be up to par. You feel me? But I that's like what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All that I time just, wasted. That I do wasted. Perf- wasted as fuck. Wasted as fuck. <laughs> wasted as fuck. <laughs> but you feel me? Physical is definitely. Mm. Physical is important. 
physical is definitely as important as everything else, as emotional, as mental. I think those are the same thing. I think it's everything. Spiritual. Nah, bitch, we're not going to waste our time. But I got a question. It says, where do you see uh, yourselves in 10 years? Bitch, married to 18 kids. Married in 18? Girl, how you gonna push all that out? I'm not. 10 years. 26. <laughs> just 26, so I would, Come be, on, Kim, okay? I would be 36 in 10 years. Oh, and shit. I would probably have like three houses, three Period. or four. <laughs> three no. or four houses. Love that. I would have my donut shop. Donut coffee. You want a donut shop? I want a coffee shop. <sighs> Come no. Isn't that genius? I love that for you. Just like a little pop shop? Yep. Mom and pop. I think that's so cute. Because after hiking, literally after hiking... Donuts and coffee every donuts motherfucking and time. Coffee. Donuts and coffee. Donuts and coffee. I know you like donuts like that. I know about Bitch, coffee. Bitch, I love the right donuts. I don't be liking Krispy Kreme. I don't be. Li- I just don't. I have my set. I only have like a solid three donut shops that I go to. I'm very. See, y'all, when I'm picky with shit, I'm picky. Okay. Picky. My coffee is. My coffee needs to be, you know, up there. So do my donuts. Like, I like donuts that. <clears throat> Are sweet but not too sweet. Like Krispy Kreme is too motherfucking sweet. I feel that. Mm. Now I like when the glaze is just perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I like it when the donut, like when the actual bread, like that dough, is just nice and soft. And it just mm, when I it comes in like that, that pink cakey box, one. Mm. that cakey one. Oh, you like yeah, I like the cake one. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's y'all favorite donuts? Or y'all don't be liking donuts like that? No, I do. Well. I don't have a specific because I don't go get some that often, but I love a good little chocolate icing on the top, and that's it. Mm. Chocolate icing? Hold on, I'm getting yelled at on my live. I'm stressed. Right. I'm I have actually a lot of questions. Right so Why? I'm getting yelled at because I'm not paying attention. Ooh, I'm, I'm not paying some... attention either. <laughs> I'm wait, 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 wait. Lot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I actually have some questions. They're kind of cute. What'd you got? Um, How do you get through those hard mental days, and how do you push through them? Period. We're gonna get deep. We're gonna yeah, get we fucking deep. deep. My followers donuts. be like, "Look, bitch, we're gonna get deep." God. Okay, let's, 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 let's do five minutes. That's awesome. I'm never gonna be able to do this for five. Minutes. You have to, bitch. No, you have to. You have no. You have no fucking choice. You have no motherfucking choice. That's my incentive. You can't. No, you can't. If you use your voice, you lose. If you use your voice, you lose. Okay. Five minutes. It is eleven forty. I'm gonna lose. It's 11.40. We okay. have to do this until 11.45. Bitch, Fuck. bitch. And I lost. I'm ready. Just like this. I lost. Fast. I'm sweaty. Say my armpits are spicy. <laughs> Wait, what's the octave? We could go. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. You lost the favorite of the fucking list. I really thought it was but loud. Oh, no. No. It picks up everything. Oh, see that? That's nice. It picks up everything. <laughs> I can't do this any smart shit. I'm Cuban, bitch. I'm a lab. Cuban. I'm a lab. Cuban. I'm a lab. Yeah. Someone said, tell the juiciest story. Tell the juiciest story. A juicy story that you have experienced during the lockdown. Oh. oh. It wasn't juicy. I ain't got one during lockdown, but I got a funny sex story. Okay, okay go. Tell, let's go, go. So this one time I was having sex with some... <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You cannot trigger me. I was having sex with this one guy, right? And this was at a time where I didn't do sleepovers. Like, get in, get out. It'd be okay to rape. I'm not doing that shit. So, we're calling us like the third time we have sex. We about to finish, right? He goes, Oh, and he yells, finish her. Like some like Mortal Kombat volume do shit. And he's like, oh. And I'm, you know, I was like, I'll be back. And I'm like, nigga, what? And he's like, oh. And then he finished. He was like, oh. And like collapsed over me. I was breathing on it. Oh. And then he fell asleep. So I was on Snapchat. Ew, fuck that. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, hell no. I could not. No. Hell I won, no. I won, I won. Y'all didn't think the loudest bitch would ever fucking leave. All right, me no. too fucking won. I can't do that shit. No. No, not finish her. No, finish, finish her, her and then passes like, oh, out on top of you. Finish her. And then have the audacity to say it twice. So then he fell asleep and I was on Snapchat like, please come get your man down my motherfucking bed, bitch. Because what the fuck is this? And we just stopped talking after that. Bitch, I would too. The fuck? Don't pass out on me like this. That was the end of it. It was the finish her for me like it was Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, wait. I, I just thought of something. So I was talking to Tally and i was like yeah i'm finna go to atlanta and i want a girlfriend i'm gonna get a girlfriend and i was like like last weekend this is what you said last week right before yeah right before i went to atlanta i'm like i'm gonna get a girlfriend what do you think about that and he was like bet okay and i'm like but what if i actually did have a girlfriend and it wasn't necessarily all three of us in the relationship it was just 
like I have my side bitch and then I have my husband. Can that be oh. done? Yes mm-hmm. or no? Can that be done? So it's like all of the things that he doesn't necessarily want to go to with me. That's when my girlfriend would partake. Now, are we intimate? I don't know. So this has a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> You're not intimate? That's a homegirl. Yeah, that's a homegirl. Okay, cause... fine. We are okay, fine. Then we would be intimate. That's true. <laughs> you have to have sex with her or something. <laughs> you got those. Okay. And then I so that's I was us. like, yeah. So I'm like, she would go shopping with me. We would go dee 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 ba 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 ba. And then like, yeah, we would have Tally come in at some points, whatever, whatever. Not him coming in at some point. Now he was like, okay, then I would get a girlfriend. I'm like, no, that's nope. not your equal. Thank oh, you. It's Nah. The only reason why it the only reason why it would work is because I'm dating my side bitch is an opposite sex. Now you need it's the what, opposite yeah, sex. Man. What you're mainly attracted to, right? That's so not your main preference, that right? Not your, he can't get both. What are you <laughs> selfish? <ass>? Okay, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's real selfish. Right. And he was like, "Well, never gonna happen." And I'm like, "Okay." It's a no for me. <laughs> Bye, this shit I is done. Back to- <laughs> that I feel the judgment. <laughs> it's a no. It's a no for it's Rashad. A no. But how would that work, y'all? It wouldn't. What if Tally? What if Tally? Wouldn't. What if Tally didn't like her? Yeah, that wouldn't fucking work. No, it wouldn't work. It just sounds so complicated. It's too much work. I need. It. Yeah, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to. I'm I'm the type of woman where I try to think up ill two girls in one cup. <gasps> I. <laughs> Please stop because I remember the first time. I All saw I see it. is shit in a cup okay. right now. Ew, 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 ew. Um, what I'm nice. trying to do is I want to. I want to. I like. I like thinking of spicing it up. What do we do to spice it up? If you're gonna be in a marriage for however for forever, essentially, oh, for however long. yeah, for however long, <laughs> for forever, how are you going to spice up the relationship? Like how. What scenario, what, like, how can you make it cool? You know what I'm saying? And it's so cool that Tally and I are both, like, we like exploring the different options Mm -hmm. that we have. Because we're not, you know what I'm saying? It's not like we're closed off to those things. But what can actually happen? You know? Um, That's when you talk about what you both like. And then you can look at videos and shit and be like, oh, I want to do that. Right. That's what we do. Watch porn together, yeah, and pick up some shit from that. Threesomes. Mm-hmm. Um, My move that you haven't done. Bitch, put a wig on. Brand new bitch. Okay, yeah. period. Who's it? Cute. Uh, <laughs> cute little red, cute little blonde. <laughs> so yeah. Make her feel like you're cheating. <sighs> right, you gotta be that side, bitch. I feel like shit we talked about two weeks ago i know right i mean but that like to keep it a bug that is spicing it up like you're not hitting the basic caucasian would you be too. open have you uh, have you guys ever dated a girl before no dated no i've never dated oh but you've been you've done a little sum sum with a girl mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay and after that experience though would you consider dating a girl See, my answer is no right now. I'm sorry. My answer my answer is no right now. But I would like, I don't want to be closed-minded. Like how we said in the couple episodes, like there's just something about a bisexual person that can love both a woman and a man. They have something more. They have more of an advantage than we do for the people who are just so closed off. Like I can only have this and he can only look like that. Or, you know what I mean? Like vice versa for men. So that. it's like. I feel that. Uh, would you guys be open to it though? Nope. Uh, Oop. Yeah, only because I feel like there are certain things that a man gives me that a woman doesn't. Right. And that's just like Bitch. those are deep things for me personally in, in terms of what I crave when I feel like I like a very dominant man. Not to say that women can't be dominant, but that's just something right. that I like personally for me. And then when I feel like with women, I don't know, I feel like it's almost that little bit of a competitive edge. Like I'm gonna be dominant. Bitch, we don't mm. need no I more hormones in like this that. bitch. Yeah, I don't need that. I either. don't need this. I got enough for myself. It's a different type of fighting, a different type of arguing. This is be real. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. Mm. I'm really slapping She gonna fight. I'm gonna slap the fuck out you. Mm. <laughs> I can hit you because you a bitch. Okay? We're I'm gonna hit you. Don't get it twisted. I feel like it's cute for this. Uh, for, for the intimacy. And that's it. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck get out. Me, bitch, you can watch. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. You gonna get slapped. Don't talk to me. Yeah, or is it just in our nature or is it just in our does it just go deeper than that like that is exactly how we are programmed we are exactly programmed to to like and be interested in our opposite 
in a being that doesn't have what we have and that's exactly why we go together I mean, I feel like if there was a woman who, like, really fulfilled everything that I needed right. like that, I don't think I'm the type to be like, no, you're a woman. No. Like, I feel like if, if I was truly satisfied and fulfilled on all levels, mm-hmm. I feel like that's what love is to me. I'm not closed-minded in that aspect. It's just that I've never... She hasn't found it yet. Yeah, I haven't been open to that. And lately, it's just been men who have done that for me. I've liked, like, I know girls that have liked me, mm-hmm. and I've liked them, but not to the extent of where... I've gotten to the point where I would have sex with you. Mm-hmm. But I know they wanted to make me their significant other, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. So I was like, we going to And then friends. for me, it's like, even if I did date a girl, I think I would need her to be some type of masculine, like more yes. masculine than me. Yes. We're all super femme. Even Hella though we have femme. But I could be guy, masculine too. But we nah, have tomboys. <laughs> not, like, not like that. We could be masculine too. too. Like this. <laughs> At that point, in case, bitch, point in case, point case, I could be <laughs> we, true. We have tomboy esque sides, but to really be like, uh-uh. yo, what's up? Hey, ma, like, hey, yo. we don't do that. <laughs> nah, because we gonna be like, bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> that will still come out. Of so it. that goes to show me, okay, yeah, I was programmed to like the masculine of the masculine, which is a whole ass man, not mm-hmm. a woman. Well, no, you don't have to be necessarily pro program my bad um maybe that's just what you're attracted to because it's not all programming it's what you feel it's that what part. you you emotionally working. like and physically and all aspects of it mm-hmm. because if you don't like something you're gonna feel it inside it's not because someone told you because no one's telling you who and what to like so you're not programmed it's what you're feeling inside Those and what your emotions. eyes and what your eyes are liking what your mind is liking do i like how this mo- this person's emotions connect with mine do i like how they deal with me mm-hmm. do i like how they treat me i like someone to be more masculine whether it's a girl or a guy so you we will all always, like what it looks like will always be open to a woman relationship but it would be like everybody's ma- like preach sammy right it would be a masculine girl it would be a masculine girl. We but won't it still take has to connect to everything right. within you. Because even when I've uh huh, it was still that lack of intimacy that I've only felt with a man. It was exactly, like a cute little boom bow. You feel me? But that like soul connection, like sex is deep. You feel right, me? like you're making genuine connections, coming together, unity, shit like mm-hmm. that. And that's something that I have yet to feel. Did you say barely? <laughs> he said that is deep. Oh, I thought he said mm, barely. barely. Like damn, shut. <laughs> he called your ass out. <laughs> Come on in. Come take but the fourth chair. It's that type of unity and, and coming together that I feel like I've never mm-hmm. experienced. Like, let me just get this little mm. boom bad. Call it a day. <laughs> but, you know you on I two mean, cameras. Like, you're on two cameras, bitch. <laughs> What else? <laughs> I wish you saw what she just did. Yeah, I'll see you Friday. Someone see it, please. But it's just it, that's what it is. They can be as as masculine. I've had masculine women come up to me, but yeah. like you're saying, it's that feeling inside that did not resonate to whatever it is it that draws attract. my inner attraction. I can mm-hmm. think of it just fine, sexy as hell. You know, we can all look at women and I, admire yeah. a beautiful woman like mm-hmm. that bitch is bad as fuck. Right. Point blank period. I don't care if you're masculine, a, a stud, or whatever the fuck. But you did not give me those butterflies. You did not give me that sense of intimacy to want to fully connect and bring our lives together. Mm -hmm. Mm. So it's only a physical thing. No, even mentally or emotionally. When they talk to you, do you like how they talk? Do uh, do you get along with them? Do you like what they talk about with you? Do you like how they bounce back and forth? The same way you are with everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. All connections. I'm saying with the woman, though, I... For the first time, I've experienced something so crazy. For the first time, it was like literally two or three years ago, I went to Mayweather Strip Club, and Mm. Sis knows the story. For the first time, I fell in love with a stripper. I was like, I couldn't stop looking. I was just like, Mm -hmm. oh, damn. Like, for real, for real. Now, she aroused me physically, but I didn't want to get to know that bitch. Exactly, there you go. You just liked what she looked like. Right, yeah. so it was only physical like, for me. Yeah. Right, yeah, it was. It's only physical for me. I don't know if I've ever met a woman that like, you know, aroused me in a mental way or whatever. And hey, I, I mean, maybe she's out there. I don't know. I don't know. But for right now, I got all that I need. But that's very. It's just. It's just interesting when you talk about, you know, what you like, what your preference is, what you're open to. We got a lot of life to live, and you mean to tell me you gonna be with that same person for forever? Like just. No wondering. 
<laughs> no curiosity. She said forever. 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 We have so much life to live. We're only in our 20s, bitch. We got 30. We got 40. Please we got 50. We, we got, got 60. Kids. 70. Grand 80. Kids. 90. 100. Mm, the casket after that. Like that. <laughs> we got, what is that? Like 880 <laughs> years? <laughs> the math for me <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> she said this oh. so didn't even count shit bitch I know. <laughs> so that's what like that's- 10 years for me <laughs> that's like two years <sighs> jesus all right i think i get i think i got it from here y'all i think i got it from here so i'm gonna say peace out to my life i'm gonna say, to I'm gonna say peace out to my life sorry you guys i didn't pay enough attention 800 <laughs> i gotta go She's getting really yelled at. i called out that's it um yeah, it's just very interesting. But let me go back to what what Ari and I, Ari, hey, Arion. Ari. I wanted to say Arion, but then I was like, "Bitch, call her Ari." So I said, "Ari, my bad." Call her both. So we were in Atlanta, and this girl said, "This girl came up to us right before meet and greet and said, God has something to tell you. Can I speak to you for a second?'" And I was like, "Oh yeah, for sure." But I had to answer like so many other questions. So answered all those questions. I totally forgot about her. We went to the bathroom because I needed to fucking pee so bad. As soon as I got out, bitch, she was right there. Well, again, and I was like, to to you. she needed to speak she to waited. me. And she's just like normal. Like she doesn't look like no, you know, like anything different. She was wearing sweats, whatever the situation is. She said, I did not. I, I'm not a dancer. I didn't come here to take your class. I came here to specifically talk to you. And I and that right there kind of was just like, oh, she's here for a reason. Yeah. So she just started reading me. She started reading me and Ari. Like, I'm not gonna say what she said about Ari because that that'll, that'll reveal some things or whatever. Right, right. Um, but she read Ari like exactly the stories that she was talking about. You know, in Atlanta, oh. like she just hit it on the nose. I'm like, sis, that is definitely happening in your life right now. What the fuck? Right. Then. I'm trying to think of the first thing that she told me. Um, something along the line. The thing that got me was I've been having a lot of baby fever. Yeah. And I and recently I just said in my head, I was like, I want to have a girl. The first, I, I want boys. I used to want like three boys, but I want a girl. I want to experience my first baby being a girl. Because I don't know. There's just something. There's just something. I don't know. Like, I, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. But it just seems like they're more calm calmer than little boys no Mm-mm. opposite um i was the first born as a girl so here's uh <laughs> i was the only girl bitch bitch well maybe it's because i've always heard stories about me as a baby and my mom said that i was a good ass baby Same. Same. calm cute dress her in my clothes not in my clothes but dress her in cute little clothes and outfits i don't know either way but she was like but that's You're the gonna type have of baby girl. you were. That doesn't mean all girls are like that. No, right. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we, we, we not going to have no Jasmine blood up in this thing, okay? Once well, you get that. <laughs> we I'm not going to have no... little boys up. <laughs> my dad said I swung a little boy into the, into the little door because he was getting on my nerves. Right. Not swung him to the door. Blew his ass. Get the fuck out of my way. I hate you. But basically, she was like... You're a min- you're a minister. You're you're a minister for girl for for young women, for women, period. And I was like, "Okay, I feel that." She said, um she said me and Tally are basically a reading. Me and Tally are together not only because we love each other and we chose each other, but we're meant to be together to for a purpose to kind of like to guide other couples and to guide, you know, people to their, you know, twin flames or their soulmates or whatever. Like we're meant to mm, teach with our love. Um, and God, she was just so many, she was just hitting things on the nose. And I feel like I'm just so open. Like I was like, tell me more, bitch. Right, she was right. like, but I need to, can I pray over you? And I was like, what? Bleh, bleh. Because she needed to touch me. She needed to, like, oh. you know, fill my stomach. She needed to kind of, like, gain a little bit more of my energy. Right. Leave my energy. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. That, I know. Like, How did you real? feel, really, though? I felt like this is a motherfucking sign. This couldn't have been more random. So I had accepted it. And right. sis is over there. She's like, bitch, this is weird. She was like, let's I go to that. She was like, can we go to, she, she was like, can we go into the bathroom? Because I don't want to like weird no people out. Once we got into the bathroom, Father God, yes, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. She would tell me like words that I needed to, that kind of would resonate. So she was like, all I keep hearing is strategy for you. Strategy, strategy, strategy. And that kind of hits it on the nose because I have so many things that I'm working on. I don't really have a strategy. I'm just doing it kind of just to do it. I'm putting it well, out there and right. just seeing, seeing what happens with it. Mm-hmm. I do need strategy. She said, 
Um, no self-medication. I didn't know what that meant, though. No self-medication. That could be something to like, self- avoid, like to suppress or cover up. Like if you're going through things, like I feel like that's so broad. I don't think it has to. Right. Be, like, no self-medication. And then the one thing that I can't. you're supposed to feel. Right. Like, how to take that. Okay. Okay. Don't do anything to numb or suppress. Like whatever that is that you're feeling, allow yourself to feel that with no and accept no vices. It. Yeah. You have to surrender to whatever it is that you're supposed to be going through. Mm. I don't know, but if you look at it from an outside perspective, it was like the craziest experience we've probably experienced together because we were like, yes, like at moments it was like, ooh, yes, like, oh my God, tell me what I need to hear. Yes, tell me more, tell me more. That's and then on the other hand, yeah. I and then like and then on the other hand, I'm like, wait, what the fuck is happening? Like, what if whatever, whatever. But I feel like I'm so protected at this point. I feel like I have such mm-hmm. high vibrations that I wouldn't attract anything weird like that where she was, you know, trying to set us up or, right, right. you know. It, no, it was. And the fact that she was hitting things on the nose. And it's cool because she would go in and out. She would be like, y'all, I'm sorry. I know this is weird. I know y'all want to get something to eat, but I just I just had to. She was a prophet of God. Oh, so it was. So that. it's like I can... I think I connect more with, you know, I'm a medium or whatever. Like I can tap into Mm -hmm. higher spirits. I can tap into your higher self. I can tap into like, you know, the archangels, the things that we read in our tarot cards. But she was coming from a place where it's almost like we're not religion, but it was just God and Jesus. God, Jesus. But you're very spiritual. Right. Right. But I. Yeah. So at first I was like, this this may be a little too much. But I would anytime she would pray, I would just. Man. Tune in. I would switch God <laughs> with universe in my head. But because essentially, I feel like yeah. everything is the same oh, thing. When you manifest and you pray, you're putting Anything. your faith into something that you believe is radiating higher. In a higher you. power. Whether you're praying, you're giving your directions, and you're giving your hopes, like that saying, let go and mm. let God surrender, those types of things. People may say, just surrender into the universe. The universe is guiding you. Mm-hmm. Like the energies, things like that. If you're allowing yourself to focus, so sorry. <laughs> he said, I'm tired of switching on motherfucking okay. levels. Um, allowing yourself to give and believe into something greater and higher than you. And I think word yeah. choice sometimes throws people off whether it is God because I really Word can choice. Have a that's really what it is. But that's what medium was made things. up because if you say, Oh, well, I'm God and I'm gonna help you figure your life out, people are gonna people take, take it God religiously. Like, oh. like not everybody believes in Jesus, not everybody believes in God, not everybody believes in the universe. So to to do that, they just do an overall right. word choice. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but this one, this is what kind of made it like, mm, is she would say, God sent me because God wants to let you in. God wants to let you in. God wants you to come in now. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, oh. bitch, in my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, let go of that medium shit, basically. She didn't say this in her words, but switch from the universe to God and Jesus and Holy Spirit and all of that. How do you feel? Because because she says that all of the all of the all of the crystals and the meditation da 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 is demonic. In fact, she yeah, said. I've heard of this. Now that. I can't really explain as to why. Um. That's like Bible stuff, though. Like, basically, if you're idolizing or, or mm-hmm. praising or like no witchcraft, other, no. Well, it's just like speaking from Bi- I didn't read the Bible. I did grow up like going to church, but I wasn't someone who will read the Bible front to back. So I, if I misquote, please don't come for me. Right. But I just feel like within the Bible, I do know that it is like a sin or demonic to be giving your praises or in a sense, worshiping something, something other else. than God. So in a sense, manifesting with crystals and holding crystals, mm-hmm. you're now giving power to an inanimate object rather than you know what i saw you know what i saw you know That's sage that. and mm. palo santo she so, said no she said none of that you know why don't because do it's crazy there's a i was looking at these videos and stuff and i don't know you believe in what you want to believe in don't quote me on this but they say people light sage and palo santo to drive out demons and bad energies but the catch is when you light them you're actually inviting them, them in. in i've heard that too and I said, I've heard that was saying you're wait, you're inviting, else. you're inviting what bad energies, bad energies and in. demons. You're opening up the portal mm, of both and see, yeah. but what see, but you know, the people that we study and all of that, it's like lighting a candle, lighting an incense, lighting all of those things is opening up the spiritual world. Not exact, not exactly like the demons and all right, of that, right. but like the good. So 
It's what you believe in, y'all. It's what you believe in. in. Your energy will attract what you want. So if you believe that will drive them in. Yeah, yeah, that's why she said that. Now that makes sense. If you believe that. It's the power of manifesting and praying, though. It still comes down to that same thing. Whatever emphasis you put into and what you're going to give your energy into is what's going to come into your life. And that's that. Whether it's prayer or whether it is going into the universe and spirituality. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very, I like, very intriguing. I feel like, like, yeah, I feel like the only thing that I can sit with that I can really accept is like this whole idea of this just spirituality like I feel like sometimes religion can be too controlling you can't do this right. no more that and that's that that's is like that the only time yeah that's the like, only time that I felt uncomfortable with this young woman is like God is telling you not to do this and not mm-hmm. to do that and da 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 I thought I was supposed to be doing what I believe in and what makes me feel and good do. and what I you know what I'm saying what I can actually accept because I could believe God all or whatever Bible shit all I want but I can I can't apply i can't right. read your energy don't go there right my energy doesn't go there it doesn't it can't like it's process that stuff like i've had a hard time like i do believe in god and i will pray and all those things but i also am still someone who manifests and i really like this is like super open and vulnerable because it's something i struggle with internally okay i don't understand how to balance that manifestation and then prayer because sometimes i pray but my prayers will be so different than when i'm manifesting like, mm. I feel like when I manifest, it's very career oriented and all these things and putting it to my universe. And then when I pray, that's like my struggles, those deep, like, God help me Vulnerable. type of things. And like I said, I the Bible really, this is super open. Oh, my God. I don't know how this is going to be perceived. But there are definitely parts of the Bible that rub me the wrong way. And I'm mm-hmm. like, huh? I'm sure. You want me to, like. I'm sure. Even earlier, I was reading a book and there were parts that I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And some pastors <laughs> where it's very. <laughs> It's that preachy stuff talking to you. You're damned to hell if you do that. First of all, we all go into hell with this career that we do. If you want to play <laughs> by the book. But it's like, how are we so hey. blessed? And how are we so fortunate? And we're mm. giving and we're inspiring. But in mm. the same sense, this is going to damn us mm. to hell. Mm. So I struggle with that Listen. so much. Uh-uh. Because I feel like we are very positive people. We, give we are. goodness and light and, and right. positivity and all these things. But right. in the same sense, it's like. Well, I guess we're going to hell. You show your body. You're sexual. You're having sex. Hell, it is. I right. I mean, I thought I lived a good damn life. Yeah. Well, and, bitch. And so it is that balance of like. Oh, God. It, but and you know, religion gets so touchy, but it, it just goes back into just feeling controlled. Yeah. You're telling me you're telling me what I can and cannot do or else or else this. And like, this is what feels natural, to, natural to me. And at the end of the day, I'm not hurting anybody. I feel like I'm we're always you know, if I'm I'm hurting if I'm hurting somebody and if I'm, you know, bringing about a negative thing to somebody else and bothering somebody, then yes, maybe. Yeah, you down to hell, bitch. But no, this is feeding me and people are loving it. And. Mm-hmm. Like, is it really not, a sin? Is it really a Inspiring sin? Inspiring people, like, uplifting people to live their best life. Like, ain't nobody saying go do some stupid shit. Right. Well, Feel bitch, good. I went to a Catholic school. I was a Catholic girl. Um, I was too. And let me tell you. Yeah. I was Catholic for a little. I had my first communion yeah. and everything. You used oh, to wow. eat that bread. Me bread too. That bread is like, good as shit. Give me, give me <laughs> second. <laughs> he goes, girl, you already here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Give me that bread. I used to be hungry as shit right. in like, 10 a.m. service, sir. okay? I, said, I was I like, said, ooh, I can't amen. wait for communion. Right, right. <laughs> I said, amen, please. Thank you. Maybe this is the part where but. you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that pot of Jesus. Anything, that yeah, was- yeah. <laughs> There's any questionable Ooh, moments. Give me that bread and give me that wine. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> my stomach be talking during mass, okay? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> but we're going to get hey. so drunk for talking about Oh, my God. So I'm bad. sure everybody thinks the same way. That mm-hmm. bread is good. Wherever they get that bread, let me t- let me look it up. Please Little don't circles. order some. <laughs> First communion bread. Go ahead, Sammy. Huh? Oh, that's right. (laughs) Let me tell you a little story. What kind of like made me realize, and it was like I was so young. Um, one day, uh, my teacher is obviously like really old and strict, right? She's Mm. one of these like controls control people. And um, where did it come from? (laughs) Where did it come from? These are the wafers I had in church. These (laughs) gluten free. (laughs) That shit, it melts in your mouth. It does. Okay, well, I would chew it though. They said, don't do it. I and I'm too. like, we're talking yeah, about you were... these same little crackers. Oh, yeah. no. I yeah. did not like those. Right? I took them because I, I like them. To. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then that little cup. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like Communion wafers. Mm. 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 That is a matter of fact. <laughs> you're going to order that. <laughs> she order a box. I really am. Are you going to give it up to the Lord when you take it? You're going to eat them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Eat it like it's popcorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm so We're sorry. Right. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh my I'm God. saying a okay, good okay. thing. It's good. 
it's, it tastes good. It's period. Where our brains work. Right. Me, we may be wired a little different. different. <laughs> Just pray for us. Please. No, that one was for real. Right. Please do that. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. We can't let Sam finish this guy. So, so not this goddamn. It's a coffee, goddamn. It's fucking Sorry. hot in here. Right. But whatever. Let me get to the fucking point. So Please. this bitch was fucking control and all that shit. And she's like, teacher? Uh, yeah, my okay. teacher. And I said, oh, because I loved animals, right? So whenever they passed away, I was like, oh, I pray for my animals, my dogs and birds and shit. Hmm. And she's like, you're not supposed to pray for animals. They don't go to heaven. They don't have a soul. And I mm. said, and I was traumatized, which I was like, I don't like this whole, like, controlling over what I feel and what I feel is happy. And it's not even nothing to, like, put to on any, anybody bad or any bad energy. So I loved praying for my fucking animals, bitch. And then... <laughs> I didn't get over this until like 10 years after. And I told my mom about it finally. I was like, you know, one one day my teacher told me that I couldn't pray for these things. And she goes, my mom's like, you can pray for whatever the hell you want and whatever you feel. Like, that's just crazy to me that they they try to control what you you feel. It's controlling. I was like, this will forever traumatize me because I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Now I can't pray for my fucking dog. I love my fucking dog. Like, let me pray for what I want to. And maybe it just, maybe what it all comes down to is some they some people just need help. Some people kind of just need that guidance. Not can't think for themselves, but in a mm-hmm. nicer way. Like, how can I say, kind of just saying, need, but... maybe people just need some type of blueprint. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if, if your religion, whatever you believe in, feels right to you it all comes down to feeling it all comes down to what sits right with you how can you you know what i'm saying what is like so easy for you to process and and what's easy for you to apply what feels natural for you to process and what mm-hmm. feels natural for you to apply and live your life and some and some religions for us sometimes we can't get with that shit and we would be we would be doing ourselves a disservice for turning into or you know like believing something that really doesn't come natural to mm-hmm. us you know what i'm saying it and I, and then at that same instance, I feel like everything is the same. It just has different names. Like exactly, you know what I mean? God, Allah, uh, uh, what are other names? Allah, of- Allah sorry, not Allah. Allah. My bad. She said Allah. I was like, wait, Allah, Allah. Oh God. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. Anybody who is. Muslim, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Rashad. But he corrected. But you know what I'm saying? There's names for all of these different gods, and <sighs> it's just the details are a little different. I don't know. Either way, y'all. Either way, whatever it is that you believe in, I just I believe. See, this is a podcast of opinions, and what my she opinion. Okay, my opinion is you believe whatever is necessary for you to live your life in the most joyful way possible. Mm-hmm. And and then and, and I really don't think. And if if one person doesn't believe the same way that you believe, you can't make them feel bad for not you know, getting with it, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that I can't get with is somebody, is the judgment. Somebody forcing me to, you know, believe what they believe. Right. Don't make me feel bad. Don't make me feel bad for it. People have their own, people get traumatized by things like this. (laughs) Like, you could honestly take it back. Like, people use Christianity to justify slavery and things like that. So there are people, like, there are things that are so deep-rooted and people, like, feed into different details and things like that. So it's definitely something bigger. Selective hearing. (laughs) Mm. You can take the Bible. It's been written. How many versions and this? People use changes. it for their convenience. Okay. And when they want to apply Don't fucking something. do that. Don't fucking use it to your convenience. Like, stop making me feel bad because you feel like it. You're going to abide by it. Then abide by it. Don't like, take it do, it, do it yourself. Mm-hmm. Do it yourself. Do that. Opinionate yourself, bitch. Judge yourself. Leave mm-hmm. me alone. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, mm. let me be happy. I want you to be happy. Like, I wish the best for everybody. Like, don't make me feel bad because you believe it. you're but, in a higher power of religion or whatever. With all that to say, do you believe that people should at least believe in something? Of course. I think, I think so. Purpose. I don't, like, see, I even have a hard time saying you should believe in this. Like, that's how I am, like, if we take this whole thing into context. Mm-hmm. But from my standpoint, I think it does give some sort of guidance and structure 
in a sense that you have something to put your beliefs towards and you're not walking around aimlessly. Like, right. Maybe this will do. Maybe this will do. I'll try this. I feel like for me, mm-hmm. at least that's what has helped me, even though I yeah. still kind of struggle. But even within my struggles, I still have some sort of structure, whether it's this is what I'm doing, what I'm envisioning and manifesting this career and this life and everything mm-hmm. that I want. And in the same stance, I know that when I do pray with God, that those are the types of things that can and will be fulfilled. But I just tend to give my deeper like, who shit, I can't do this no more. Like them deep. <laughs> but it helps you. It does. It absolutely so. does. And that is my form of structure and way of believing because I literally feel helpless. Right. Without it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it does give you some sort of hope and faith. And that's what belief mm-hmm. is. Faith is. You talk about faith and believing and, and mm-hmm. giving into something. Like you got to have something to surrender when you're going through your shit. And we ain't always equipped. Right. Okay. Right. You got to do a little sum. Right. Yeah. A little soul searching. A little sum. You feel a little something to give searching. you a little little something, something to keep, keep it going, keep it through? I think you should have something to believe in, what, whatever that is. Um, because, like you said, you're going to just be going around lost. That's how people get lost. They don't have nothing in to, believe, to believe in. So let's say even if you believe in just you getting up in the morning and saying amen. You get up in the morning and going to, to do a workout and you say, well, this makes me feel better. It's not a religion, but this is what my light is. Right. Right. Your outlet. So your vices. this is what helps you. And what guides you in life is like, well, this is what I want to do. This is what I am. And this is what I believe in. And some people really just be like, I'm a fucking full on gym person. And I don't have any religion. I don't have nothing to think about but just gym. This brings right? me clarity. This brings, this me, brings me happiness. Some sort of- and they are, they are vibrating yeah, high keep as fuck it yeah, because yeah, they keep it have something to look forward to. They captured what they like. They found their niche and they're going with it. And that's it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think you should always have something to believe in, no matter what. It doesn't have to be religiously. It yeah. doesn't have to be all religion. It can be something that just makes you happy at the end of the day. You've said this already. It's all about If it makes feeling. you feel good, fucking do it. And it's, right. it, it should be good. Don't make other people feel bad just because you don't feel that way. Like, mm-hmm. no, then that's, don't hang out with that person or don't tell them. Don't put their relig- your religion on them. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. personally, that's my. Opinion. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think if there's a difference between. Hmm. I like what you had said, Jazz, when you were talking about the prayer versus manifesting. Girl, I really struggle with that on like a daily basis. I really do. It really. I just did it before here. <laughs> no, I'm dead manifesting ass. Yeah. Really is. Is that a verb? <laughs> Why? <do> you... <laughs> nah. Rashad, I'm about to go this ahead. is an open conversation. You can't be laughing. <laughs> Ain't no judging. I'm really looking it up though. Manifestation versus prayer. That's what I'm going to look up. Okay. I'm scared. I'm shaking. She said, I'm about to break this shit down real quick. Y'all, because manifesting, I'm manif- you. when you manifest something, it. Rashad, <laughs> our engineer. You're really cracking the fuck up though. Manifesting. You're making me feel dumb. Is. <laughs> Bringing something from your mental out into reality, into physical. Physical form. Prayer. Okay, boom. Prayer is... I feel... Okay. In the sense, I feel like it's the same sense, but what you're directing it it to. Like, I feel like prayer is very specific to religion, but if you really break it down... This is how my brain works, girl. This is how my brain works. If you break it down, who am I speaking to? Okay, it's... First of all, nobody, because I'm in the room by myself. So I'm giving something up to a higher power. What am I saying? Uh-huh. Universe is what I'm doing. Whether I'm looking in the mirror and saying, Jasmine, you are this. You are successful. Like my affirmations, things like that. I'm still putting that into the air. Even if I'm saying, God, I come to you and I give you X, Y, and Z. I'm still putting that up. Mm-hmm. I really, oh my God, this is really weak. It so you're saying essentially, is, is it the same thing? I would love to say that. That's no. what makes but see, that's what I'm saying. Because, no. But is it not because of the word choice? Because I'm not sitting here holding a Bible and doing things like this. I'm not. I don't even really manifest with crystals. I'm just choosing my words differently in the same sense. And I'm literally doing nothing about it. Diff- no, I'm just doing nothing different. If oh. I say, God, I'm doing I, I would like to ask you, like, I release this. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling this. Or if I, the next thing I turn, I'm like, all right, universe, we finna get this career on a pop. And all I did was change God and universe. I, I think it might be exact, essentially but the your same intention thing. your intention is different because but you it's say not. You, but you say you str- okay so from what I'm taking is that you say you struggle with praying and then manifesting and they're both two different things because you say you take praying 
into a personal level. You take it when you're vulnerable, you want to speak to somebody, you're praying to a higher power, right? And then when you talk about the universe and what you want to put out, you're thinking and you're in visual, uh, you're visualizing physical things. You're visualizing what you're going to look like, literally, like, the like next day. I feel like you're both day. physical, though. Like, it's just in a sense of, like, at the end of the day, I'm still wanting to provide positivity yeah. within my life. And I think it just maybe because of, like, I did grow up going to church, and you always right. hear in church, like, give God your struggles, give God your prayers. So I think that's just literally how my brain is working. Wired. When, when you're you... praying, you're manifesting the better positivity. outcome. And yeah, when I'm manifesting, I'm still manifesting the better the better outcome of my life. I just really think that as a child, I was always told, when you're going Same. through it, you just give it to God. So I think now that when I am going through things, I don't think to put that into the universe because we also are told your tongue is very strong. Yeah. When you manifest, you don't want to say anything negative. You always speak within the now and within the positive. Don't like, curse yourself. You, yeah. yeah. So I think that's where maybe subconsciously, now that we're saying it out loud, where that line draws and why I separated because I was just taught God will... Same come through and he does every god don't end on a bad note and i will stand by that mm -hmm. like anytime something goes wrong you can even say the universe will end on a bad note you'll be struggling and all of a sudden you wake up you're like oh somehow i was able to pay my rent right somehow someone was struggling and was able to provide a whole thing what i prayed meal. for whatever it is yeah. it's not ending on a bad note because you're putting forth that thing it's just how i was taught to give those struggles and those hardships to the lord and then as i was around more people who were manifesting it's like you speak positive on yourself like i was saying in another podcast we're in transition we're never in lack we're always in a place of abundance where you right. feel like you don't have enough money you're transitioning mm -hmm. to the next bag right. right and so it's always speaking with a more positive tongue and that's kind of my divide just because that's what i, was I think told. you already know the answer i think right. it's it's pretty pretty much, much similar where is it similar so we yeah we're saying well, yeah we'll say similar very yeah, very tears. similar they, 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 y'all can see my hand that i did they're almost the same but that i did see for me that's just oh that's just so complicated trying to like it have is. okay like for this i'm only going to this and for this i'm everything is the same thing do y'all to me with this? are we the only ones like i know I, I, I think people I think... really do Balance. I feel like our generation, like Gen Z, and I when think it's pray, just having more vocabulary I, to yourself. It's the vocab. So, it's the vocabulary. Yeah. It's the word picking. Like when, like I'm thinking about when I pray. I pray all the time right before I go on stage. Right before Same. I do like some type of live performance. But pray or manifest. Prayer. No, like, for, like, do you like God get us through? Like, hello, God. Universe, use me. Oh, okay. Universe, use me. Like, that's a prayer. Have me, I have me. Yeah. yeah, have me perform in the way that I know how. Have me perform in the way that whatever, whatever that I'm meant to. Da 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 da. da be the star. I don't know. I think it's the. I think it's the same thing. I do think that there's something there. Like prayer is like I yeah, talking. Up. I feel it's more communicating, communicating with right, communicating with your with your higher force, manifesting. I need Tally here. <laughs> he knows all of this. It says prayer is your most powerful manifestation tool, yet it is one that many associate with religion and lack of energy control. You resort to prayer when you desperately need a miracle and hope. Mm -hmm. that lack of energy you. control. Mm. <laughs> so vulnerability. Prayer is not a wish, listen, or plea for help. It is a powerful energy tool that must be used with clarity, intention, and faith. But I feel like you use clarity, intention, and faith when you're manifesting. But it just said it in there. It said when you're manifesting, you're praying. Manifestation is a tool. It's uh, a prayer. Yeah, prayer is your most powerful manifestation tool. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Yeah, it goes one in the same. Boom, Beach. right there, answered. You are doing the same this thing. Long Maybe it's like ice and water. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Of <laughs> Thank you for after class. Like ice is a solid. Water is a freaking liquid. I'm text but they go one guys. in the same. I don't. Ooh, that's deep. That's a good one though. Either was either fucking way. I'm getting what the fuck I want. Okay. Okay. Period. <laughs> I'm getting what I want. Oh, I feel so vulnerable. I know what to, I know what to say. Yeah, I know chest. what to say. I know what to say that'll match my energy. Call it manifestation. Call it prayer. Whatever you want. I know what to do. I know how to categorize it in my head. Do I know how to communicate it and give y'all the same? Give y'all an answer for yourself? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's about what resonates with you. What do you? What do you? What can you understand? Because sometimes there's things that I literally cannot process in my head, but it's but it's like a yes in my head. I, I mm -hmm. understand it, but once when I try to speak it out into words and have you understand, 
it's not a no. for them to understand. Yeah, they don't. Not it's, everybody it's your else life. understand. It is not for them to understand how you go about what you get about mm-hmm. and how you receive your blessings because you are still working. Yeah. In your positivity and like you said, you're not harming nobody. You're not doing nothing negative. So don't nobody need to understand. Right. I feel that deeply. I don't even care if you are super religious or you're not. You don't really need to know how me and my and that's it. higher power. How and I down. work. Right. Because for why? Right. And it's no tea, no shade towards you, but you need right. to get into with you and your higher power because these right. blessings are coming because I'm focused and I'm aligned. And right. I have high beliefs, bitch, and they're coming. You're We're right. Vibrating right. high in whatever sense that that means, whatever I'm giving into or surrendering to or believing in at that point. <laughs> Me, myself, and that power. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you give your energy to, you guys. Like, if you're giving it to something shitty, you're going to end up with something shitty. shitty. If you're giving it to something greater, you're going to have something greater, and you're not going to stay in the same spot. So energy is everything. When did you, what, when did you, whatever it is that you guys, whatever you guys believe in, when did you, like, fully believe in it and start using it and start applying it in your life? When I was caught in something so negative. That's usually when you find yeah, it. Yeah, you when usually you find it in your lows. The lows, the lows. When you need that faith, yeah. you need something and, to give into. And I didn't know what to do or how to do it. So I found myself in the lowest of the lows. And I'm like, what am I doing? And you're just like, why me? Why this? Why that? And then it's like, what am I doing? I'm just attracting more whys to myself and more loss more questions more right. questions to my energy and i'm right. just in a very low point so what do you do to get out of a low point is to pray manifest start saying good words to yourself start calling yourself beautiful start, envisioning right. right start thinking of good things and what you want out of your life and then that's when you start growing and things will start coming to you and being attracted to you of what you ask for so embodying if, it yeah, in your bad yes moments, so though. if you were just gonna sit there and ask yourself why me then that's what you're gonna get you're gonna stay in that spot until you figure yourself out and it's personal it's very personal so don't think everybody's gonna have the answers for you because they're not mm-hmm. don't ask people like how do you do this how do you do that yeah you can get advice but at the end of the day your answer is within yourself not in other people I was Stop just doing that. about to say, I found, I feel like I found my universe, mm-hmm. God, I found it in myself. I found it in Tally. I found it in, you know, in my baby brother at points. I found it in, mm-hmm. in an experience. I found it in a place, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, essentially, God, higher self, that force, that energy, God is like an energy. The universe is an energy. <laughs> it mm-hmm. communicates to you through other people and through so many others. So, so in this case in Atlanta God universe was communicating to me through this young woman random you know what I'm saying and I think I started believing in the universe specifically then later understood that I believe that it's one and the same the universe is within me God is with is is within me so when I say I control my own fate it's me it's what I have to do it's what I have to say it's what I have to envision it's the actions that I have to take what I need to practice whatever the situation is you know what I mean that's when I later believe that I am God a legionelle is mm-hmm. I, will I am too. God I am the universe I started to believe that later but when sorry when I started to um really 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 put my faith in the universe was huh I think right before like bef- before Queens and Lettos like m- kind of like when I started teaching and when I was like preaching more and and you know what I mean communicating to other students when they were trying to find answers within me that's when I was really like mm, I need to you know I believe in this Right. Finding it when you accept where you're at and stop trying to fight what your current situation is and being like, okay, I may be in this fucked up situation. I know for a very specific example for me, when I graduated college and I moved from Long Beach out into the valley and I was getting ready to start, I had no job. I had nothing. I cried every single day. But once I accepted the fact that that's where I was at and I was like, okay, bitch, we're going to love yourself from scratch. Right. And you actively put in the work to find your faith and find your purpose and things. Like, I don't care if I was crying every single morning. I was like, you are beautiful. You are yes. successful. You are made for something more and you will achieve it. And that those were the four things that I told myself every single morning. And I just surrendered into what it was. And then I started just walking within that. I saw the person that I wanted to be and that I knew I was going to be. And even in your lowest moments, you still have to put your faith into that yeah. higher self, whether it's your higher self or that higher power and that higher being and higher you're energy, able to yeah. achieve yeah. those things. Yeah. I think it's also important, and I, I'm also speaking to the audience too with this, is that it's a good thing for you to 
pray and manifest when things are going good as Absolutely. well. Not yes. only don't turn, don't just only turn to that when things are just bad, 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 bad. Like also recognize the force, gratitude. you know, give the gratitude and energy when things are are actually going well, and maybe go left real quick, okay. yeah. and maybe see if things are actually like ignited and things ex and things expand when things are going good. When you actually find Ooh, the prayer yeah, and the absolutely. faith and the energy and all of that when things are going good, not just when it's going bad. That's that reminds so, me of a like quote I just read too. Yeah, those moments when when things when things are going, going well, good, acknowledge right? Those acknowledge it and let your universe, God, higher force, let your power know that this is where you want to stay. You know what I'm think, saying? Too, when you don't acknowledge it, it's almost like, why am I going to continue to give you more when you can't even handle that? Give thank no, not even handle right. it. You can't even give thanks for what I already gave you. So why would I continue to give you more? Because now I'm going to use God in a sense, because that's how I resonate with this one. Like you prayed for this. I gave it to you. And now you just dismissed me. Mm -hmm. after right. The things that I was able to give to you. Why would you just say, oh, OK, thanks. Bye. And then you're going to come to me and ask for more. Mm. No. I'm and I grateful. think you can do the same thing. With the universe, like you said, this is where I want to stay. In fact, I actually want to go higher. Right. So I appreciate what you've done because we now came together. Now we let's make a net. Let's make a next pedestal. Do, not yeah. get it and go. That's very selfish. So what are mm. you? Then what do you believe in? How are you operating as a person? That mm -hmm. comes from a very selfish mm -hmm. place. It's also sense. when you're. It's also. But then at that same time, it's like if you don't think about it, because I don't think about when I when I gain my blessings, I enjoy them. I don't think about I don't think about it as like a get it and go or whatever. But I still have the awareness to be like damn that actually happened mm, thank you right or whatever but if you don't have the awareness to actually like be in a moment and say thanks it's almost like the universe because this is how i resonate with this one the universe receives the energy that you give once when you're enjoying so when you're enjoying True. you're like mm -mm 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 -mm. Right. now if you are enjoying you're saying that you're enjoying but you're like when is the next bad thing gonna happen mm. that's when things will t go left mm, it's like it's really almost deep. like ooh, things are going too good something bad is about to happen like tomorrow self-sabotage so, so you deep. really so you got to enjoy it. it's not I, for me it's, it's not even like sanitizer. saying <laughs> i rebuke those germs that's self oh, i'll be doing that <laughs> it's not even like <laughs> Oops, say things. Shit, if you have the awareness, yes, say things. But for real, I think what's most important is to enjoy. Yes. Find that happy place and know that it came for a reason. You attracted this. You manifested it. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. Now stay there. Stay there. You deserve stay, that. Stay sentence. there and expect more. Expect more. Because expecting more is also, in a sense, asking for more. The universe will give that to you. Because you're not complacent. Yeah. Right. You're always on a mission to vibrate That's, and move higher. Yeah. That's what people like. That's things in a relationship too. Like, ooh, this guy, this this guy, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy is too good. good. Oh my, what's gonna happen? Oh, what's no. gonna happen? Da, 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 da. That's where some of y'all go wrong. And then what happens? You end up like Jasmine White. So don't do that because that's why I had to use that hand sanitizer. Period. Because I be doing that. Oh my god, I be self sabotaging. Can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Actually, it's quite it's quite the opposite for Jasmine White right now, bitch. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Okay. She'll she'll talk about whatever is going on in her world whenever she's ready. But I think that's a really great note to leave it on and for you to kind of just sit with and think about and what applies to you, what feel what feels natural natural to you, what feels good to you and what works, what processes, what's natural. Um Ooh, this and we'll leave it at that. Bitch. That we was good. We went donuts. from questions. We had all the religion. Donuts, coffee. I love it. No, it's music. good. It's good. Everything. It's good. Did we miss something? We do this every time, though. All we always time. end on something deep, and we always talk about some booty bullshit beforehand. We talk about sex <laughs> and, and then, then deep. deep. All of a sudden, so God. Right. <laughs> what do we think? Where is he? Is it a woman? Is it a man? a man? Mind you, we just talked about sex. That's I'm going to just thing. say it. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. All right, y'all. Come back here on the next episode of After Class. God knows what God knows <laughs> what we finna talk about next. Can y'all DM me if y'all struggle with that? Because please make me feel normal. <laughs> No, for real. Um, Please let me know. If God, I'm one. Jesus. Look at you. What? You might be more religious than you think. Since you calling on him. That guy. Right, calling on him. Next episode of After Class, come here. We got Sammy from the building. Say what's so Say goodbye. That's what I want to say. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. Hey. Hey. No, we got Sammy oh, from the building. No. Say, no. say peace out. No. Bye. She's <laughs> we got to have a bye one, though. Don't you think? Say goodbye. We got Jess up in the building. Say, 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 say bye-bye.
Bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. Echo, echo. I'm going to echo you. We got Jazz up in the... Bu- no, we got... <laughs> we got Jazz up in the building. Say goodbye. Bye. bye. We got Lee up in the building. Say goodbye. Bye. We got Sammy up in the building. Say, Say goodbye. Bye. bye. I don't know, but okay. we're going to work on that one. I think peace out works better. Say peace peace out. out. If you're going to say, say bye-bye. Bye. Out. No. <laughs> goodbye, y'all. <laughs> See y'all next time. <laughs> <laughs>